That was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. <laughs> One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny. My granny! Come on. I was eight and she was gor... That was a long time ago. Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. People can hear you. Please be quiet. When you were 10, we went to that harvest festival and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought, relentlessly might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me, always for you. Every time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? <sighs> That's a heavy sigh. Again. Yeah? That's the sigh of exhaustion after spending the past month apologizing for your behavior to... Well... Everyone. Apologizing? I've been pretty darn restrained lately. If by restrained you mean falling all over yourself to garner the attention of every passing female, then... Yes. You've been quite restrained. Mark my words. The more you hurt people, the more weighty the repercussions will be. Your actions will come around to bite you. Ha! If I get bitten, that's all just part of the game. Heck, I had one girl's brother come after me with a pitchfork. <laughs> if you end up getting maimed or killed by a pitchfork, don't expect me at your funeral. Glenn used to make light of getting hurt too. Then one day, he got more than hurt. Now he's gone. I'm sorry. I was being... <sighs> You're right. I know what it did to you when he died. <sighs> it hurt to see you hurt and not be able to do anything, when you wouldn't even come out of your room to take care of your horse? Nothing affected me the way his passing affected me. Well, I'm happy that you're better. Seeing you out and about helped me relax enough to be able to flirt with girls again. Your predictability is utterly disappointing. When I finally stopped mourning, you know what brought me back? My concern for you. Me? You know you can't get along without me following in your shadow and caring for you. You flirt with anything that has a pulse, offend people left and right, and constantly cause commotions. Huh. The truth really does hurt. Please, Sylvain. Consider your actions before you carry them out. And stop acting so nonchalant about getting hurt or killed. Promise me that. Okay. I promise. Training on your own? You really do work hard. I hate to break it to you, Sylvain, but there's nobody here for you to flirt with. So there's not much reason to hang around. You're here, aren't you? How ridiculous. Almost as ridiculous as your face. You'd really say something like that to a handsome guy like me? I'm crushed. Joking aside, may I join you? I only came out here so I could train too. Sure. Just don't get in my way. I've been thinking about it, and I really depend on you. Maybe that's weird since I'm older than you, but still. Hitting on me? Again? Have some dignity, would you? No, I'm being honest. I thought you'd listen. Hey, I'd like it if you didn't get too far away from me on the battlefield, okay? Just stay where I can see you. I'll stay as long as I can. 
You're useless without me, after all. What? No, I'm saying if there's one thing I can do on the battlefield, it's keep you safe. Whatever helps you feel better. Stay and protect me, then. I couldn't bear it if you went off and died on me while I wasn't around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my line. It's getting late. We'd better head out. You're right. I'm exhausted anyway. You haven't been practicing enough. All that time you waste chasing after women would be better spent training. I'll train with you anytime, so just... Hmm? What's that strange... I just... Oh, well... You're going to think I'm being a jerk or hitting on you or whatever. When we're side by side like this, training, I feel... I don't know. Oddly at ease. I know what you mean. It's probably because we've been friends for so long. That must be it. Let's never change. Friends forever? <laughs> Absolutely. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends, Sylvain. Hey, Ingrid. How are you? I, I mean, what are you? Uh, are you, you know, off to train again? No, I'm headed to town to buy supplies. But I'll be training after that, naturally. Why? Oh, I, I just thought... Never. I guess that part of you hasn't changed. Of course it hasn't. I am as I ever was. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I guess you're right. <laughs> you're being weird. Have you always been this weird and I just never noticed? No, I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. By the by, have you, you know, fallen for anybody recently? Don't be ridiculous. What are you even bumbling on about? Well, everyone's been talking about how you got really, uh, pretty. Just, you know, all of a sudden. Oh, you must be referring to the makeup. It's not a big deal or anything, just experimenting. I'm still learning. Did I mess something up? Huh? No, I... I think it looks good. You did surprisingly well, I mean, considering that it's you. Very funny. But I must say, I'm a bit surprised. It's unlike you to stumble over yourself this much. What? No, I'm not. I'm just, you know, curious about why. All of a sudden. Why what? Why I'm wearing makeup? I'm still guessing it's for a guy. If I had to try and guess what sort of guy, I suppose I'd say... Felix? No, wait. I'm forgetting the royal line. Dimitri would be a way better catch. Wow. Way to make assumptions. Is it one of the knights? If it's not them... Wait. Could it be me? Don't make me hurt you. No need for violence. It was just a joke. Um, uh, I mean... It's not a joke that you're beautiful, but I wasn't trying to hit on you or anything. Promise. Beautiful, huh? <laughs>